something else to benefit your health, and that is a flu vaccination clinic that's going to be coming up right here in West Bloomfield in October with the West Bloomfield Clerk's Office as well as Alana's Foundation teaming up to help get everybody informed when it comes to flu vaccines and making sure that everyone stays happy and healthy. And to join us right now on the splash, we have the founder, president, and executive director of Alana's Foundation, Zach Yaksic. Zach, thank you so much for being with us today. Thank you. Yeah, thanks for having me. Absolutely. Glad to have you here. So Alana's Foundation has been providing flu vaccination clinics for some time now. Can you share with us what inspired the foundation to focus on flu prevention and how it's impacted the community? Sure. Yeah, um, it was founded in memory of my daughter, obviously Alana, um, who in 2003, she was five years old and she passed away from the flu. Mm. At the time, I had no idea that the, the flu, actually people died from the flu. Um, so when, I, when obviously when this happened to me um, and, and inspired me, I, I, I wanted to tell everybody that I could that, how, you know, how, how tragic the flu could be and how important it was to get vaccinated. So hence the, you know, Alana's Foundation was, was born and with the mission of really just educating the public that, hey, the flu is dangerous and it's important to get yourself vaccinated, protect yourself and your family. So this tragedy doesn't happen to, you know, prevent it from happening to other families. Absolutely. Couldn't agree more. Glad to have this information out there. And Zach, I'm very, very sorry for your loss. And it's great the work that you're doing to help get these families informed. And could you tell us a little more about some of the logistics in helping to set up a flu clinic like this one right here in West Bloomfield? Sure. Well, we, we set up flu clinics um, across the state ourselves. We're responsible for, so really, if anybody, any organization, a school, a church, parish, um, we go into, we're holding some at the y, YMTA. We partner with um, Blue Cross Blue Shield in Michigan and some of their events, health uh, events that they have across the state. All we need is to reach out to the organization at uh, lanasfoundation.org um, you provide a place and a time and we can uh, coordinate we partner with the visiting nurses association so we just coordinate the nurses to show up and um, administer the vaccine so it's free of charge to you know the, the barriers to people usually the reason why they don't get vaccinated if they believe in vaccine it's convenience and affordability so we try to eliminate those two barriers. The convenience is, you know, bring your entire family to this one event. And if you don't have insurance and you don't have the money, no problem, the foundation will pay for it. So um, if anybody is interested, you know, all they have to do is reach out and we can set up that, uh, coordinate that uh, to happen for them. Absolutely, that's right. And it's great that you're doing this to help everyone get this access, whether they have insurance or not. Zach Yaksic with the founder, president and executive director of Alana's Foundation is joining us on the splash this morning to talk about the flu vaccination drive that's coming up with West Bloomfield Township in October. Now, Zach, the flu vaccination that's being offered at the clinic is trivalent. Can you explain what that means and why it's essential for people to receive this updated flu vaccine every year? Uh, well, yeah, that's been a recent change at the CDC. You know, in the past years, you've heard the term quadrivalent, uh, which means that they formulated it to uh, protect you against four different strains. Um, recently, they've learned that uh, they haven't seen one of the strains for a number of years. It's kind of faded itself out, so to speak, in simple terms. So the... Uh, I guess the highest dose available to make it simple is what they call a trivalent, which protects you against the three strains that are uh, out there circulating today. So, um, yeah, that's you're, you're getting the highest dose uh, available and recommended by the CDC. 
Yes, great, very important information for a lot of the community to know. Now, flu prevention is a crucial part of community health. How do you see flu vaccination clinics contributing to the broader public health efforts, especially in local areas right, like West Bloomfield? Well, vaccines is so, uh, so uh, when you, I'm sure you've heard or many people have heard the term herd immunity. The more people that get vaccinated, the more protection the community has. But, like, you know, not everybody's going to get vaccinated. So the more of us that get vaccinated, you're protecting those around you. And there's a lot of people that, that want it, they can't. They're, they may be immune compromised or they have an allergic reaction to something, so they can't. So it's important for us, uh, the community, to get vaccinated to help protect those individuals as well. So again, it, it's a, in simplistic terms, it, it's herd immunity. It's, it's our responsibility as a community to protect your, yourselves and protect each other. And the way to do that is to get yourself vaccinated and get yourself vaccinated against the, the flu vaccine. Um, on an annual basis, because currently um, it, it is something that has to be done every year. Uh, unlike some of the other vaccines, the back to school vaccines that children get, this is an annual vaccine. Absolutely. Great information everywhere. Zach Yaksich with Alanis Foundation joining us on the splash to talk about the flu vaccination clinic coming up in West Bloomfield in October. Now, Given that pre-registration and consent forms are required for some of the younger residents, uh, the minors, how do you work with families to ensure that they are informed and comfortable with bringing in their children for vaccinations? Um, I mean, you know, the, the registration is available online. If for some reason any, any family has a, a problem or uh, registering, whether it's, uh, you know, they can do it, also do it on site. We have tablets, you can do it by your phone. So we have people there at each clinic to assist them to in, in signing up and making sure that, you know, they can quickly get each member of the family registered and, and processed and in and out of the, the clinic as, as quickly as possible. But it's really, a, uh, it's really a, a simple process to do the way we've streamlined it with the um, being able to do it online at the time. Great work everywhere you look. Zach, thank you so much for your time today. I got one more question for you before we let you go. How does the foundation, uh, what yep. role does community support play in keeping this initiative going every year? Well, we've got many uh, key partners and those who such as the, the Township of West Bloomfield, um, without your support and willingness to, to actually hold the, host the foundation, whether it's hosting it, um, donating to donating to our organization, because we are a nonprofit, we, we are able to do this type of work. Strictly, we rely on donations. Um, but if people weren't willing to support it, then obviously then it would be difficult for us to meet our mission. So it's just important. All our partnerships are important. Um, to help us to, to achieve our mission. Absolutely. The, the support is very crucial, and it's great to have that support everywhere you look. Zach, thank you so much for everything that you do, and thank you so much for joining us this morning. Okay, thank you. So much crucial information about this flu vaccination event coming up in West Bloomfield Township in October. A great chance for everyone in the community to get involved, get informed, and to help get themselves protected from the flu should it, uh, should it strike them down. But great information everywhere you look. And you can find out more information about this vaccination event on the West Bloomfield Township Facebook page to learn more. So, and here to tell us a little bit more about this information from the other side of things, from the West Bloomfield side, we have West Bloomfield Township Clerk, Debbie Binder. Debbie, thank you so much for being with us today. Good morning, Jake. Nice to see you today. Glad to have you with us. So I was just talking to Zach about all of the great things that are to come with this uh, flu vaccination event. How have things been from the townships side of things? What have you seen? 
Well, this is our seventh time that we've actually worked with Alana's Foundation to conduct this, um, the flu shot clinic that they actually do in partnership, as Zach had mentioned, with the Visiting Nurses Association. It gives our residents an option. And we also have a second option because our fire department has uh, the Alana's Foundation partner with them also at their annual open house. So it gives you two chances to get to get your flu vaccine. Um, ours is on Thursday, October 10th from 3.30 to 5 p.m in case you missed the one at the fire station open house on October 6th. I don't have the hours, but it does go all day. But we did select uh, Alana's Foundation to work with when we talked about having a flu shot clinic because Alana is a West Bloomfield, it was a West Bloomfield resident and her family as well. So my son was in school at the same time as Alana was. She was at one school in the district, mine was in another. But we were very aware when when, when Alana passed away on, you know, from the flu. So it became a, a, a high priority to us, I think, seeing what could happen. And it's something that when I came into office, I thought would be something nice to offer as a choice for our residents. Again, it's not, I don't want people to think we're forcing them to come get vaccinated. That's not the case at all. But we do provide an, an, an opportunity as well as remove some of the big barriers that, that Zach had discussed of the, the affordability and the convenience. So it is very convenient. We have people who come here every year. We have staff members who come here as well as the fire station, you know, as the fire station. So just make it easy for our residents to, to, to get their, their vaccinations if they are interested in doing so. So it is, and I would mention, it is extremely helpful if people do pre-register. We usually have about 50 people that attend our clinic. It is helpful if they pre-register. And I believe for the senior dose, it is required to pre-register, but they usually do have a couple extra on hand as well as we sometimes have a few no-shows. So if somebody didn't register, I wouldn't discourage them from at least calling to see if we can't uh, fit them in. And the other thing to keep in mind, at least with our clinic here at the, the clerk's office, is everybody tends to come early. So if you come a little bit later in the clinic, you will not have a line, I promise. So <laughs> just something to keep in line for planning. If you come right at 3.30, you'll probably see more people than you will if you come at 4.15. So look forward to seeing you that we usually have some treats and Alana's Foundation has some treats and it's a great opportunity to just learn again about you know, Alana who was a resident of West Bloomfield is close to home here. Yes, and it's great to see all of this work everywhere you look. Everything that you're doing, Debbie, is great. And it's it's helpful that you're helping to break down some of those barriers and make it easy to access for a lot of the residents here in the community. And I do have one more question for you. As somebody who serves the public directly, what feedback do you typically hear from residents about the importance of accessible health care services such as this? I think anytime we provide something that's accessible to the residents, they are happy. You know, again, it's it's a choice. It's not something they have to do. But I think if you do make something convenient to the, for them and something that they value, I, I think there is great appreciation you know, uh, of that opportunity. So I, I think it is providing a, a, something that's important as well as for our staff. I, I mean, we've, we've seen a lot of people, if they can't make the fire station open house, they do tend to come to our, our vaccine clinic and our flu shot clinic and get their vaccines. And we have some people that, that run home and get their kids and bring their kids back. So I, I think it clearly provides a convenience without having to make a doctor's appointment or go to your doctor's office. It's right here at town hall and usually people can be in and out within five minutes. So extremely convenient. And I think well, 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 well appreciated. I actually at the football game for my son last week with marching band, I did have a parent come up and tell me that she and her kids would be here this week and how grateful she is that we do have that opportunity. So I do think it meets a need and provides convenience and, and assistance to anyone who does need it. Couldn't agree more. This, uh, flu vaccination event will be taking place Thursday, October 10th from 3.30 to 5 p.m. Debbie, thank you so much for joining us today. Thank you, Jake. Have a great day.